The next play in this series we're going to talk about is point. We're going to look at point over. Uh, there's three different options you can run. The first one we'll take a look at is point over. Okay, we have the ball here again with the guard. <clears throat> and he waves through the other guard, waves him on through. Guard will cut through the elbow hard to the corner. The pivot, once he sees the wave through, is going to go block to block and then fill this elbow. Okay? And we try to time it so that as this guard is cutting off the elbow, he is filling the strong side, he is filling the elbow there. Um, as soon as we make this pass to the elbow, this forward has to drop. Okay? So what you end up with is if you, you end up with, um, the pivot with the ball here, the guard has the ball here. You have your forward, we wave the other guard through, and this forward is here. So we'll make this pass in, okay? And the key to point, and there's three different ones, is once we make this pass to the pivot, whatever cut that this guard makes is whatever set that we're in. If he cuts over the top of the pivot, then we're in over. If he cuts to the rim, we're in under. And if he cuts away from the basketball, then we're in a way. So he can go over the pivot to run point over, he can go under to run point under, and he can go away to run point away. We'll take a look at all three of those options, but first we're going to look at point un over. He cuts over the top of the pivot. Okay, the forward sees this, acts like he's coming off this down screen. Instead of coming off the screen, he rejects the screen, and he's making his way to the back. So we look for this backdoor pass. What we try to do is really set this forward up, Act like he's coming hard off this screen. This forward hopefully overplays, and we we uh, cut back door and look for this easy drop pass for the layup. Okay. At this point, what happens is all the other players have to make this read. As he sees the forward cutting through, he's filling this spot, and he's coming up as well. And we have the guard has cut through. The guard is cut through, so we will throw the basketball here to the wing, and then from this point. We like to get into a side screen and roll for our guard in the post. And we like to end that a certain way, and we'll take a look at that as well. So we have the pivot here. He makes his pass. He goes over to set the ball screen. And what we do at this point is this forward is making his way to set a down screen for this forward that was faked at and came through. Okay, And it'll make a lot more sense when we get out here on the court. But you can see this forward's here. He's here. We have the guard that's shaped up. We have this guard with the basketball. The post is coming to set this screen. A lot of teams like to run and jump. A lot of teams will double team your post. Uh, if that happens, we try to pull this post out. We try to pull the post defender out as they're double teaming. And then after he screens, he's rolling. This forward is going to set the down screen for this man. Has to pay attention to what's going on to his friend over here. If he sees him double teamed, what we'll do is we'll try to throw it really quick to this forward in the center of the floor. And then if they, and then we'll, we have his pivot cutting, and we'll throw this, and that's an easy layup against teams that like to run and jump, um, the side pick and roll. Okay, if they don't run and jump, if they don't double team it, which some teams won't, if they don't double team, we have the guard, we have the post screen, we just play pick and roll here on this side. Okay, and he's coming out, so pick and roll. Say that the roll man's not there, he's going to take that spot, and from this point. I'll, we just like to get back into uh, get back into chin from here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll pass, we'll pass here, okay? This post will stay. This post will be here, and we've made this pass, and we'll get back into chin from this point. This is a entirely different set of attack, and what we like to do is we'll wave through the opposite guard. We like to try to run this. Uh, scoot on back. We try to run this. If we see them picking up their pressure, if they pick up pressure on the wing or they pick up pressure on this guard, what we'll do is we'll wave the opposite guard through. Okay? So we're going to come through. Keep the ball in your inside hand. All right. We're going to wave the other guard through. Okay? Slow down. Make sure these guys get this. All right. The other guard. Drop back. The other big guard in our case is going to cut through the elbow. As he's cutting through the elbow, the timing that we want, we're trying to get, it's while he's cutting through, you're, touch up, you're filling up, okay? So we want this guy cutting through while this guy comes here, okay? Pass. Now, key for the post guy is he's got to chin the ball, okay? And he's got to check right real quick. He's got to make sure that this forward doesn't come over and try to steal it. At the same time, this forward drops to the corner. As soon as he sees this pass being made, 
He's going to drop to the corner. We're going to go here. And from this point, we have three different options based on the, the cut that the guard makes. Okay? If he's passed into the post here, okay, if he cuts over the top of the ball, that tells everybody that we're in over. We don't have to call it. Again, in this offense, is the, the, if you don't make calls, the better off you are. We threw it in here. He's going to go over. That means we're in over. All right, come back. If he passes to ball, the ball here and he cuts under, if he cuts to the rim, that means we're in under. Okay, come back out. All right. If he passes the ball here and he goes away, away from the basketball, that means we're in away. Okay, we're going to take a look at all three of those. All right, set back up. All right, here we go. Waves him through, okay? Good, he passes, now he's going over. We fake, finish. All right. Here we go. Good, set back up. Okay, go. All right, again, we wave through, we pass. All right, slow down. Okay, slow down. All right. Want this guy cutting off the screen. He's going to start from this position. We want him to take two hard steps to his man, and you can start in a little little in right there. Like this is almost like a down screen. We want the other team to think we're setting a down screen. He's going to come running like he's coming off the screen, and then he's going to push hard off this foot and show his hand and make a layup. Okay. If he's not open in this case, he's going to cut all the way through. So fake and then go. Slow down. Good. Go. All right. He's going all the way through. Okay. Slow down. He's looking for the layup. If he doesn't have it, go back to here, Hunter. The, the point guard who set this screen is going to have to pop out and catch the basketball. Okay? He's going to catch it. All right. A lot of teams like to run and jump at this point. A lot of teams like to double team the ball screen. Okay? So what we like to try to do is he comes over to set this ball screen, get, get a good angle, slow down, is we'll try to pull this double team out to half court. Okay? So what we try to do is we teach our point guard to pull this double team away, pull this double team away, take the two guys away from the basket. They're double teaming him. A key he can't pick his dribble up. Uh, you got to make sure your point guard does not pick his dribble up and get, allow himself to get trapped. But as he's out here with the basketball, this other guy's got to see what the heck's going on. He's got to see this guy. And so I'm sit he's sitting here ready to set a down screen for you. But if he sees this, he's got to pop out here to catch the ball and help and then that's going to allow the post to finish his cut, and then we have a layup. Okay, let's do that in real time. Here we go. Good. Over. Good. He's not open. Pop out. Good. Finish. Okay. The next play is point under, and what we'll do is we'll hit the, the ball. Is already We've already waved the guard through. The pivot's already cut across. We've already dropped the forward. The ball is in the pivot's hands. At this point, the guard will make a cut to the rim, and that key's under. So he'll make a hard cut to the rim, and that key's under. That tells the other four what to do. As soon as he does that, this forward is coming in and setting a screen. This guard is coming off, coming off the inside screen. Okay. While that's going on, what we do on this side is we like to have these guys shaping up. Okay, I like to have this, this group shaping up on this side. And as the pivot has the ball, he'll look to throw here. Okay, and if he does, you need to look at the two options. If he makes his pass here, okay, we'll get back into something we looked at before in the high school version that we run, something that we looked at before, which was uh, five out. And we'll come up here and we'll set a screen for him to get the pivot back into the post and then we'll pop out and we'll either get into point from there again or we'll get into chin. Here we go, cut through. Okay, he's gonna fill the top. All right, pass here, All right, slow down. He's doing his, what he's supposed to be doing to fill there. We have these spots filled. In this case, man guard and the point guard maybe is played over on the high side. It allows the point guard to go to the basket. Obviously, if we have this pass, we'll make it. Okay, if he's not open on the back door cut, keys the other forward to screen in. He's going to curl around and go to the wing. This guy's going to reverse pivot and post. Okay. Ball goes here. All right. And from this point, we get into five out, which is action like the five out. The ball goes to the wing. We're going to go back here, and we're going to back screen to get the pivot back into the post. And then after we screen, we're going to step out. Okay. We're going to step out. If we don't have the ball here, if he can't make this pass, what are you going to do? Cut back door. Okay. 
All right, again, a key on this offense, stand up top. One of the keys here is if the ball is in the wing position and we're set like this, any time that we dribble up, we get into chin. Any time that we pass up, we get into point. Okay, so that's a key thing. So we can we can transition in anything when the ball is on this wing. We have these spots filled. We can transition into either point or chin based on the dribble or the pass. Okay, here we go. Good screen in here. Good. Come in screen in here, Hunter. Good. Let's hit Trent on a back screen. Good. He posts. He's not open. Back. All right. Good. If instead this guy cuts off and he's not open, what we'll do is say the pivot has the basketball here and the guard's cut off and the forward has screened in, the forward will start making his way out and this forward and guard is here. What we'll do from this point is we'll run five out again, except we'll have a dribble at here and we'll get this man to cut back door. He'll relocate, we'll hit the wing and then we'll have this UCLA screen back. So normally what we like to do on point under in, in the high school version that we run is we'll always get into five out from here. All right, let's run point under one more time. Here we go, set back up, good. Cuts through, he fills, he cuts under, we have screen, all right, hold up. If he's not open on this side, we're still in five out. The ball is in the pivot's hands, he's not open off this screen, we will look, okay? If he's not open, we will dribble again, we dribble here, and again, a key here is if we dribble at, they go back door. So he cuts back door, he replaces, pass here, okay? Look for the shot, if he doesn't have it, we're gonna come back screen, we're going to get the pivot back into the post, and we're going to step out. Slow down. Okay, we're going to step out, and this again is the key. The ball is on the wing. If we dribble at Tyler, he's going to cut back door, and we're into chin. If he passes up to Tyler, then we get into point. Okay? All right, let's go. Let's run that again. Let's go. Point. Good. Cuts through. Good. Make a move there. Good. Cut hard. Looks for him. Good. He's not open. All right, we're going to dribble at back door. Good. Post, he's not open, good job. Okay, dribble at means good. Chin, okay, let's score, good job. There you go, good. And the last, the last read on point is away. We'll run point away, and the ball will be here at the high post again. Uh, same normal set. Uh, this guard's already been waved through and cut. The forward is dropped. The ball is here. Now the guard will, make, will cut away. Okay, we like to make sure we try to keep this lane line extended at the at the slot. We'll take a look at that. As he's going to screen away, this forward is cutting hard for the basketball and then he doesn't have it, he'll cut through under the rim. As he's cutting under the rim, the other forward is moving in to set a screen, much like point under, and he'll come off, he'll be coming off here to this side. Okay. So what we end up having is we get the forward, get the guard here, forward here, this forward screened in for the other guard, and what we end up having is pass here, and what we like to do at this point, what we like to do at this point is we'll have the guard with the basketball and has these options. He has the option to attack the lane line for the driving kick. He has the option to come off the screen by the pivot. If he comes off the screen, he's going to pass here to the wing. Okay. Once he comes off here, we're, we automatically flow back into the chin set. Okay. So point away gets you into chin. And here's how. Okay. We had this guy come through. And what happens is on this pass, the guy that screened in, we try to look inside for the pivot, okay? We try to look inside to the post. So he screens in and then reverse pivots and posts up. This guard that makes the pass waits until he gets this flare screen. So pretty good options we have here is we have a post and then we have the flare screen, okay? Uh, also have the shot. Um, so anyway, this guard has the basketball and if he, he comes off the flare, looks for it if he doesn't have it, he finishes the cut and he goes out. This man comes up and from that point we're into chin. With the dribble up, and remember in our offense, one of our rules is the dribble up always keys back into chin. So he'll dribble up, we'll make this guard to guard, and then we're back into chin from there. Point series. Pass. Okay. Key here. He's passed to the pivot. He's going to cut away from the basketball. Okay. The key here, something you're going to have to work on, is when he goes to set this screen, he's going to have to stay here. We try to keep him within the lane line. 
Okay? We don't want the guy going all the way over here to screen and then catching the basketball. He doesn't have an angle to drive. Okay? So we want to come over here and screen. This guy's got to do a good job of setting his cut up. This guy's got to come off like he's coming off to score, and you want to probably start a little lower. Like he's coming off to score, set his man up, cut hard off his outside foot, show his hand, and look to make the layup. Okay? All right. Let's walk through that. Good. Okay, slow down. Good. He cuts hard. Okay, slow down. Okay, come back. All right. We have, we have the pivot side forward going in to set the down screen. Tyler's going to be a player, and he's not going to cut wide around this guy, totally ignoring the down screen. He's going to cut right off Hunter's shoulder. Okay? He's going to cut right off Hunter's shoulder. While that's going on, the ball's being passed here to our point guard in the slot. Go. Okay, slow down, Tyler. All right, he's coming to set the ball screen, okay? At this point, we allow our point guard to make reads. A lot of times people hear screen, they're going to jump to the screen side, which allows the drive and kick here, okay? So we can drive and kick to that side. If we don't, we're going to drive across off the screen. Tyler's coming off. We're going to pass. Okay, Tyler's look. Tyler's going to look for the shot first. If he doesn't have the shot, he's going to look inside, okay? we got our guy post. If he's not open inside, we're going to look at the flare screen, okay? Those are our three options, okay? And then drive and kick. All right, let's go. Sit back up. Good. He cuts through. Wave away. Great. Pop out. Screen in. Good. Okay. If we don't have it, drive and kick. Hold up. Drive and kick. Now, if he doesn't have the shot, dribble back up. Where would you go? Here we go. What are we in now? Good ball movement. And it, all right. Good job. Uh, we're going to take a look at breaking down uh, our point play. Uh, you have three different options off a of point. Uh, some of the keys that we look for is when the ball, of course, is at the uh, pivot position here, we want him to chin the basketball, bend his knees, okay, be in a strong athletic position. Uh, ball back here. Okay. When we're coming down the floor, as much as we can, we want to have Justin uh, keep this defender occupied. Okay, we want him to make him make more than one move. We do not want him to come down and say, okay, we're running this play and dribble down and be non-aggressive. Okay, he's got his side turn, now pass here to the high post. Okay, then slowly walk over here to screen. Much easier to defend, much easier to guard. Okay, come back out. We want to be very difficult to guard. We want him to keep his shoulder square to the basket, make one-on-one -on -one moves here to keep me off balance. We want him to pass to the high post and almost cut almost at the same time. Okay, you ready to do that? Okay, so I'm guarding. Justice makes a move. We want him to pass and cut almost at the same time so I can't look where the ball go and I can't, it makes it much more difficult for me to defend. Okay, and when we make this fake screen, okay, we're setting this fake screen, you're going to come up chopping your feet. We want to do a good job, both guys chopping their feet up to give them easier to change their direction. Okay, so you're chopping your feet up and so is he. All right, and then uh, Trent, let's hit Tyler on the back door. All right, here we go. Good. Good. Pop. Job. All right, bring it back out. Next thing we're going to look at is our wing options. We have two different wing options. If the ball is on the wing and we dribble up, we get into chin. If we pass up, uh, we get into point. Let's take a look at uh, pass to the wing. Okay, he cuts through. We have post. All right, if we dribble up, we're going to get into chin. So let's dribble up and let's score on that, okay? Dribble up, he's denied, good. Cuts back door, good, good, let's score, good job. Next thing we're going to look at is if the ball is on the wing. Last time we dribbled up and we got into chin, this time we're going to pass up. And a key to remember here is it doesn't matter if Hunter passes the ball into the post, throw it in, and go to the top, pass to the top. All right, that's still keys, point, all right, throw the ball here, or if he goes just immediately, the post is covered, we throw the ball from the, from the forward spot to the top, okay? That's the same type of read. It still keys point, okay? And again, remember, point has the three different options depending on where the passer goes.